Hey everybody and welcome to the stream. We're doing a quick audio check. We will be getting started here in about two minutes. Strat. Good morning everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Ninja Sport Network. We're bringing y'all the championship qualifier here at Traverse Fitness, Richmond, California. We will see yes. you guys back. Audio sounding good. Let us know in chat how we sound. Appreciate we will be back in a minute and 30 seconds. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Ninja Sport Championship. We are here in Richmond, California at Traverse Fitness, and we are ready to go. Course designers Brian Kretsch and Sean Bryan have an awesome course for us here today. I'm Chris Aganji, joined alongside Ryan Stratus. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. If you're coming back in for another Ninja Sport Championship, here we are almost at the end of the season, the next to last qualifier here We've got people that are ready to try to qualify to get one of those coveted spots in the finals coming up in February. Right now, things are going to be getting warmed up very soon. We've got that first runner coming up in just a bit. Yeah, the, a the athletes the getting warmed up. Here's a look at the open round scoring. So here's how the standings are determined. The first thing is the total number of obstacles completed. You'll get a point for each obstacle. So when you see on the leaderboard, that's what you'll see. The least number of total fails and the time to complete the last completed obstacles will determine any tiebreakers in the event the, same, the, the athletes have the same number of clears. So there's we a look at that, how... We saw that tiebreaker come into play. It's just the last qualifier we had. Very cool. Came all yeah. the way down to the very third determining factor. Jay Lewis, Isaiah Thomas came down tied in the finals round. Each oh. of them had like a second, a ninth, and a first, I think. Oh. And so it literally came down to the open round. So the open round certainly important. You don't want to ignore or, or phone it in. 
Oh, if no. you know you're already in the top 10. Here's a breakdown. The athletes are going to have three minutes to get through as many of those obstacles as they can. Top 10 men and women will be moving on into the finals later on this afternoon. They're going to be using that retry system in the open. Athletes get three attempts per obstacle, something that is uh, fairly new to the ninja game. So each time they, they fall on an obstacle, they have a certain amount of time they get to reset waiting for things to be put back to the beginning, and then they get to try again. Third time they miss, that's when their run is done. But if they get to clear before try number three, they get to keep on moving until time runs out. And I think our first runner is getting called over to the start line right now. Yeah, I think we are getting ready to go down on the floor. We're going to go down. Ethan Swanson is standing by, getting our first athlete ready to go. First athlete up is going to be Talon Yorn, coming out of Traver uh, Traverse Fitness here. He's a Lyme ninja. He's battling Lyme disease. Got a little wristband from his mom this morning. Fired up young athlete right there at the start line. Motto is never give up, never back down, never stop fighting. That's what he lives by. Let's see what you got, young man. Only 15 and a quarter. Well, these athletes are chomping at the bit to be trying the... Much more difficult courses out here than just sport championship. Yeah, it's, it's so tough to be the first runner like Talon here because, you know, you, you sit at home, you sit in your hotel room, you watch the course rules video, but you haven't seen it in person. You haven't seen it live. And so you are the one that everyone is kind of having their eyes on. It's like everyone's rooting for you. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Everyone's got your back. But this is the run they're excited to see because this is the first time they're going to really see these obstacles in person and they're going to get a lot of information from this run. Yeah, the beta that you get off of the rules video might not be as as good as you want sometimes. Hard, hard Three in the morning me. when those those are typically filmed, it's not the best beta. But I think we're going to see some real beta here put on display by Mr. Talon. First runner getting a pop from the crowd. Let's go. See that runner stance. He's ready to take off here, hitting that trampoline and starts to bounce his way through. Gets the clear on the zip line start. Got a little hook and cook action here coming down. The ring slider gets a clean dismount through. Heading on over now to the trapeze and rolling blocks. This is a little tricky of a start, but he's able to split the difference there, get through those spinning blocks. Nice work. Right away into the angled run. Go from one flying bar to the next. Got to do an up move here. Great tech going up. And if you can tell, you have a narrow entryway here. Not quite able to get into the sandwich. That's okay. First miss. 10 second reset time. Second try here. up again inside the cradle this time there it is nice work. Just the yeah, Tyler, dismount. Huge swing dismount to the block there blue block straight ahead and oh. just a little shy of the dismount has one final attempt that's a tough one clear the technical aspect of Trying to go forward quickly and overshoots the one up move there. Tough break from Talon, first runner of the day. Still great work from that young man. Up next is going to be Taryn Shills coming from the Movement Lab, San Dimas, California. 14 and a quarter years old. Straight A student, what she's doing right now in school in eighth grade. She grew up playing softball and soccer, but decided to leave those sports behind to pursue Ninja. Darren Gart, Arnold hanging out there alongside. Coach out of Movement Lab. Big 
for things to get going here. Always a little nerve-wracking at the start. And here we go, trampoline to the ring. Uh, make sure you've got a lot of speed coming through as you take that zip line back up the track. Here is that first point. Takes one of the hooks. Big leap up and just a little shy as he needs to hit a little harder onto that trampoline. Trampoline bounces. A little more challenging for the younger and lighter athletes. Try number two. Hold on tight. Takes the ring down the track and gets on through. Going to work her way around to the trapeze and block run. And skips that first block. Nice. Very good. Noticing that it's a little more secure than that first one. Ooh, Taryn makes the jump just by her fingertips. Notice that bar does spin, so they have to go with that switch grip grab. they got to go up and into the cradle after that tough move to make. Go back to the start platform and wait for that reset time. Let's see if she can hit it here on the second attempt. That first cliche in the up move is a tough move to make. Salmon ladder-esque. Are not quite able to get that one. One more try here. Line bar. Definitely a more challenging move. But this movement's being incorporated more and more in a lot of various obstacles. Starting to become a standard thing and just a little shy. Nice try, Taryn. Okay, let's see if we can take a look here. Looked like she had it on her left side. It got high enough, but the right side maybe just didn't quite get there. Ah, uh, yeah. A little shy on the move. Up next. Our platform, we've got... Cannon Thornock coming out of the Ninja Coalition headquarters. All this cliche this young man has is 12 feet, 15 years old. Pretty big cliche. Let's see how that technique's going to be put on display here today. Cannon Thornock working his way up to the top. Ooh, a little close <laughs> on the heel drop, but makes it in. Toe tap there. Slide down and great dismount to be able to swing on through right when that ring hit the end of the track. Just make their way around here to the balance. Interesting agility obstacle here from Traverse. You don't often see like a, a swing into the balance. Oh, tough tumble there. Yeah, anything that you have to go from upper body back down to lower body definitely throws another wrinkle in the obstacle technique. Similar to like the spider drop or the hourglass drop from a and W. This one's real tricky. You need to hit both feet potentially, but he splits the difference. Way smoother. I like how he came down and he hit the first block with one foot, and that way it allowed him to get right into his run. And get ready for run up here. The flying bar combo gets the front facing grip. Switches up here for a little more, more traction. Great up move. Plenty the clearance. Nail this inside of the sandwich. They got two options oh, almost. You can see on the top of those, you can go to the top of the cradles if you like. You're up that much higher. Make that dismount that much larger. Goes try number two. No stranger to big competition. He's made it to the world qualifier. Or he's qualified for world. The WNL. And going for entryway here. Trying to make two. Gets one side. And the left side just a little high. Yeah, he got caught up there on the left side. Went on top of the cradle. And that's the difficult part about this obstacle. I think they're called the sandwich cradles. Mm. Make sure you get that bar in between. Really precise move here. 
Third and final try is consistent on the up move, but can we get inside of the cradles here? Special delivery with that flying bar. Gets inside, but can he get the dismount? We've got 30 seconds to go. Large dismount to go here. And tries to go for the bear trap to get a little closer. Smile on his face. Nice try from Cannon Thornock. I think that they were yeah, I mean, the bear trap is there to be used. It's a big dismount. Um, that is a wicked dismount. a little bit harder of a move to get to the bear trap. It's definitely risk versus reward. I'm not sure how many athletes we'll see try to lock in that bear trap. Judge giving some clarification. Because we got people up and ready to go once we get here. Shocked up, we're ready to go. Logan Felix getting ready to run. First time competitor, 14 year old cowboy. Just found his passion into the ninja world. And he's got a course out on his ranch. So he's excited to be here, to try to learn from this experience and keep on growing. Here it goes now into the hook and range. And on the corner of that platform and keep on rolling. That swing, taller athlete here, might be able to just land right onto the first, but it's spun out. You can see underneath those blocks, there are a few things to help prevent those Blocks are tipping entirely. Has to go with two and then takes another tumble on the way down. This is a tough obstacle. If he's new to Ninja, the agility type obstacles. You've got to be quick, you've got to attack, confidence. Hesitate at all on these. It'll slow you up and three and done. An early exit from Logan. Unfortunate there. That's one that's tough figure out on the fly. But again, as a first-time competitor, it's tough. Tough one to learn right there on the spot, but that's all right. Hopefully we'll see you later down the line. Up now is going to be Nora Brown John coming out of Momentum Ninja. 14 years old. Started back when she was only 9 years old. Got first place in the 2022 uh, Canadian Ninja League National Finals for 13, 14-year-old girls. So, to see some international competitors out here. All the way from Canada, so up there last year. A lot of fun out there at the Fitset Ninja facility. Did she, did she train at Fitset? She took her bio a little bit. No, she's in uh, British Columbia. Okay. Uh, That's a little further away, but here we go now. Nora going for the landing on. The spinning block, skipping one, and oh, the platform. So close. I like it. She tried to save it, but not able to complete. Try again. We're going for try number two. Well, this is certainly an obstacle I'm familiar with. Failed it in qualifying oh, no. two years ago. So steadied up on that steady one. Sprints across. Excellent job. Ran that one in season 11. Uh, ate me up, man. It was like that bad road <laughs> road burn, road rash from the texture it had. Definitely a little scary. Moving on now, though. Nora on the flying bar to get the up move first. Up and in. Nicely done. Got to watch those corners. You can see the red tape. Trying to, try to give you a little guidance of how much room you got for the edges there. Oh, with the quick catch, Mr. Kretsch on the fast hands. Nicely done. Nora gets half in, half on top of other cradle. Once again. Second attempt. And <sighs> going to get on the second one. I think that's tough about this second move, and I think we saw it there on Nora's second attempt. It's very, it's 
it's very close and you have to go up and so a lot of times i think today we're going to see a lot of athletes sort of overshoot this move yeah tech this requires and the power early on in the course and get that heart rate spiked as well and just an overshot there unfortunate Exit from Nora. Got a strong background Canadian scene. We'll see her later down the line in some more competitions in the States. Ah, yeah, I just overshot that one side. It's hard because you can't look at both sides and be accurate. Got to kind of focus on one and hope that one behind you is going to stay. And Joe S. is on the move. Coming out of Fremont, California. I'm very interested to talk to Mr. S. Because when I tried to look through the data, I could not find a last name. No. Nope. I just, it was just an S. Uh, keeping <laughs> with the ninja aesthetic. Going to go as unknown as possible, I imagine. But here we go. Let's see if he can make a name for himself on the block run. Not so much his first attempt. That's all right. Draw number two coming up. Trains with the Apex crew. And goes for a little bunny hop off of the second block and immediately gets tossed off to the side again. Yeah, just coming down a little heavy on it. You got to try to be as light as possible. I know it's tough when you're coming off a trapeze bar. A lot of your weight is coming straight down, but you want to try to get as much of your momentum straight ahead and not coming down. Easier said than done, though. He's got a big swing here. What's his plan? Joe trying to slow it down at the end, and this block run claims another. Nice try, Joe. Man of mystery. Next up. Let me see this. Let's see how heavy footed landed and just tries to go a little too hesitantly on the block this third time. Let's try, Joe. Up now we got Milo Fisher Dalton, 17 year old high school senior, coaches here at Traverse Fitness. So, a little home field advantage, just being comfortable in the environment, but coach, if you're not a part of the design process, that's okay. <laughs> I think he had a forward momentum fall, so he's good. I think that qualifies as on or pass. Nope, it does not. Ah, he fell backwards, you're right. I think he had to go forward momentum. Maybe his hand came down behind him. Yeah. And that's it. Yep. Got to go past the plane. No falling back. One, two, three. Ouch. Some big wipeouts here on the plant run. Yeah, I think the key, like you said, Chris, is making sure you land softly and carrying that momentum forward but in a controlled manner stops himself but doesn't center him down too hard okay. not sure where he got banged up went a little bit back to the platform not a bit of tumble on the ribs knock the wind out of him a bit perhaps Here we go third and final attempt steady and ooh Takes it on the hip. Staying down for a second. Gonna cut away for a second. Uh, yeah, they're checking on him to see if he's all right. Looks like he came down kind of hard onto the platform. Kind of hard. He's sit he is sitting up now. Sure, if he tweaked the back. Uh, he's up and he is up and ready. Moving. Confirmation from the judges, perhaps. If he's going or not, I think he might be tapping out just for safety's sake. Don't know if maybe he actually, I think Brian Kretsch came up, maybe saw him touch the blue of support. I don't know if it was a full clear. He came down pretty hard on that hip, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly happened there, uh, but hopefully he's a okay Winston a little bit, but. So he was he was clear. Got word from Ethan Swanson. He was clear, but the decision was made. He looked like he was just in a lot of pain, and you know, 
Kretsch came over, talked to him a little bit, decided maybe to move on. It's not worth it, you know, not worth your health. If you're yeah. struggling with an injury, make sure you take care of yourself first. Definitely. So, tough lesson to learn sometimes when you're fired up about competing if you're a younger athlete, but take it from us old dogs in the fight here, folks. Take care of your bodies. You only get one. I know, you don't have all right, here we go now. Next up is going to be uh, Ray Richardson coming out of Ninja Force. Make sure everything is reset on the course here. Get going. Ray competed at the 2022 UNAA World Finals. Also coaches out of the Ninja Force Gym in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Senior in high school. Works way through that zip line. Let's see how her technique is on the trampoline and ring. Hold on tight. Not much momentum going into it, but gets all the way across. Gets the clear. Trapeze, block, run. First attempt. Oh, oh, head first dive off to the side. Gonna have to slow it down a little bit. Secure that landing. Ashes outside of Ninja. She does jazz and tap dance. Also into music theater. Trying to go to law school out of the hobbies and focusing in that's a tough fall there off of the first block you can tell that first one's not as stable as the second third and final uh, try for Ray coming up third and final attempt steady on the not quite able to dial it in tough break for Ray Lock run posing an issue for the first handful of runners. Understandably so. Up next, going to be Nicholas Schultz. Been training half his life in Ninja. He's 14 years old. Been training since he was seven years old. Freshman in high school. See how his freshman performance in Ninja goes. Nice job through the zip line. Likes to write his own music. Got a lot of other passions as well. As he's working his way through that ring slide. Nice job. Here we go with the Lachey to block run. Looks like he's building up to land on the second block and take it forwards and one, two, three, toe tap on to the backside. Unfortunate. Almost gets the clear. Hands and feet are allowed on those red blocks. Can't touch the blue support beam down the center. Nicholas Schultz going for number two. Big swing. One, two, sprint. There it is. Nice work. He had the UNAA World Finals in 2019, 21, and 22. Made it to NNL Worlds in 2020. Big jump here. Going to start things off for blind bar combos. Up and over. Try to focus in here and see if we get this one dialed in. Jumps. One, two, that next bar. Up and over that left side, overshoots again. Gonna try to get it on his third and final attempt. These two obstacles here are gonna be a tough combo. Block run to spike your heart rate up. Then you've got to calm it down for this technical explosive move here. And just not going to get it. Nick 
Nicholas Schultz, unfortunate. Move on to runner number 10. Honestly. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one throughout the day. Up now is going to be James Guido Di Stefano. Friends here at Traverse, 42 years old, orthopedic sports surgeon. Get the high bounce on the zip line might need a little bit more speed, but just Woo. gets there in time. <laughs> nice job. Smooth. That's it. Walks the way over, grabs that hook. Up and in, down we go. Nice job. And into the block run. And he's here for this trapeze drop. Worked as the chairman of the Department of Orthopedics for the last three and a half years. Oh my goodness, oh, save it. As the chairman, hopefully he doesn't need any orthopedic work after this competition. Clock run is one. No one to mess people up here. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's go. Whoa, oh, I like it. Cross. <laughs> a little smirk on his <laughs> face. I love it. <laughs> Went for a little front Kong all the way through. Nice job. When he's not training Ninja, he likes spending time with his daughters, five and seven-year-old kids back home, or might be out here in the crowd watching. Go with the line bar. Go now on the up move. The accurate, not quite there. It's just it's another athlete kind of overshooting there. Well, these flying bar moves, sometimes you think we're pretty complicated for, you know, so early on in the course, but we're starting to see them incorporated on the main show, A&W, fairly early on in courses as well. So it's a skill set that everybody should be familiar with at this point in time. James going for try number two up and over again. Typically, you wouldn't even see the flying bar put in play until, like, stage three in the earlier years of AMW, but now it's a qualifying round option. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Just things they're asking of athletes. It just goes to show like where, how the sport has evolved and how these athletes are, are training harder and harder, where like a flying bar is trivial now. Ugh, nice try from James. That's going to be three and done. I think we're going to see this a lot where, you know, athletes are sort of overshooting this move. He just overshot it. Coming up now is going to be a Kiara Lopez. Kiara comes out of Roseville, California. 19 years old. Up we go on the zip line. And ooh, not sure if that's going to count. Nope. Toe Little tap. Foot tap there. I'm going to have. That trampoline is almost deceiving. You want to have more forward momentum to carry you through that zip line all the way up. Again, hitting a little too high off the trampoline. Not going to make it on that one. She might be able to reach the trampoline from there. Not quite. Needs to have forward momentum here. A lot of speed. Swinging through with the legs on the first bounce and gets it on her third final attempt. Good job, Chiara. Right, shake out a little bit. Up and in. Down we go. Let's see if she can save this. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, the launch off of the end of that hook. Needs to be quick. 
commit to that move right away. Here we go. Up and just a little shy on the leap. Third and final attempt. Wait for that reset time to go back down to zero. Yes, locks Hook. it in. Yes! Oh. Not quite able to stick the landing. Had her knees up in front to try to do like an underbar move to kick through when it hit the end of the track, but you want to have those legs back when it hits in order to let it swing you forward just a little bit more. But nice try. Yeah, I, I thought she had some good momentum coming down the track, and, and you could see just that her hips got a little ahead of her shoulders and couldn't quite save it, fell backwards. But that's all right. Fortunate there. Up next going to be Francisco Barajas. Coming out of this studio, martial arts and fitness. That's a great pronunciation of Barajas. Trying my best, man. I'm <laughs> trying. This southern man. My, my, my accent's not the best, all right? I'm trying my best here. From from southern to Spanish. I know, man. Oh, come on now. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to his back I to love his it. Man I love it. here. Uh, professional wrestler. Oh boy, uh, let's go. Wonder, wonder what his finishing move is. We got to get him and Sensei in oh, the ring. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Don't let Mike Bernardo in the house. He'll oh start one to start running to get uh, some wrestling moves, power bombs, and whatnot <laughs> off the top rope. Francisco on the move now. Yeah, nice control, good core strength coming down the first obstacle, the zip line. There and see if we can pile drive these this block Locked run on. here. Well, one, two, three, four. Out of Slight there. beat there. Now for the line bar. Ah, a little off to the side there. It's, again, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna see it so much today. I hope I don't sound like a broken record, but because it's a it's a short move, but it's up, it makes it so a lot of these athletes are gonna are gonna overshoot one side. Let's go. Yeah, in that time. Going for the cradle. Let's go. Just needs a big swing dismount. He's gonna skip that bear trap. And bingo bango. Let's keep on moving. Into the floating monkey bars. Yeah, first athlete we're going to see here on the floating monkey bars. But now these are forward facing monkey bars instead of the traditional sideways ones you would face. These are a little trickier. Those hands just right. Trouble ripping here. Lop. Swing. Okay, go back. You gotta on. take these monkeys. He got two more moves to make, I believe. He's got a bit of a dismount to go still. Hold on tight. Great positioning. Go. The dismount. The gray dismount. Or black, no, the black block right there. He's got that whole angled piece. No! Oh, no! The back foot tapped down. And that's gonna be a tough reset. An obstacle like that. It's a draining upper body obstacle. It takes a lot of time. Hopefully he's figured out the technique, though. He won't need to go for it as many uh, repositioning of the hands. There we go. Get through it a little smoother this time. Yeah, it looks definitely more comfortable on it this time around. Let's see if he can lock in this dismount. Hope so. Big swing for the corner, and he's down to about 20 seconds remaining. He's going to have to go quick here on the half-pipe attack. Gotta run up this warp wall, grab that rope, and make that dismount. This is a big move. Short on the run-up. One, two, three. Does he grab the rope? And nicely done. Oh, but the swing to the platform is going to be a little off. Gets to clear, and coming up on the three-minute mark, and I think that's going to be the time. Down we go for the appeal. <laughs> Further this competitor so far, Francisco Barajas. Nice job. Yeah, we got to go back and we got to look at the dismount here. He broke a 
tripod over somebody's back last week. So hopefully he's not too upset about this call <laughs> that Mr. Swanson had to make. Oh, no. Careful out there, Careful Swan. Careful with those tripods. Yeah, you can see. Unfortunate there. But great run further so far. Up next, Jaden Pankrantz coming out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Hopefully Francisco is not going to be waiting for Ethan Swanson in the parking lot later. Oh, with the tripod ready to go. <laughs> Off the top those, rope. Count those tripods. <laughs> I need those tripods. Oh, no. Let's go, Jaden. Jaden on the move. Rocking the uh, Taco Bell Cantina sweatshirt alongside the rest of the Dangle Gang. So he's an un underqualified member. Almost went. It looked like he was about to run into the trampoline. Had to look back for the cane real quick. Yeah, need to take that with you. <laughs> Nice moving forward and good control. confirmation of what's allowed to walk on as he transitioned over to that next stop. Jaden, right to the second Some, one. Uh, Sideline coaching. Oh. Jaden, go to the second is, one. Uh, Padres in the distance telling him to swing for that second one. It's a little more sturdy. Decides to do here. Six one taller athlete should be able to just pop oh. on down. Goodness. Well, you can see when he left the trapeze bar, his shoulders were behind him. Never quite got his shoulders up above his hips. So when you trail like that, it's gonna be really hard to keep the momentum going forward. You're gonna want to, you're gonna tend to lean back. Ah, I went for a quick step down onto that first unstable block. And that's gonna be another real exit off the block run. Nice try, Jaden. Nice run, Jaden. Anna MacArthur, our fifth women's competitor. Anna's got a gymnastics background. Started when she was only three years old until she was 11. Since then, she's been focusing on Ninja. Currently 16 and a half years old. And out of the grip. There in St. George, Utah. Here we go. Dip Start with the at Austin Ninjas earlier this season, took 12th place, two spots out of the top 10. So, you know, she's looking to build on that here today. Ooh, a little short on of the jump there. Hit that hard. Hit it, hit it hard. He is only five foot flat the right there, so she needs a big bounce. Shorter athletes, challenging time on these trampolines. Yeah. Here we go that time, no problem. Gets the swing through and forward, moving on to the next obstacle, Anna. I believe she competed on AW Junior a few years ago. She actually came out to the Naperville gym, and uh, we actually had dinner together with another one of the AW Junior students from our gym. Really great to meet her and her family, train with her a little bit. Good job on the block run. Yep, got some good experience in the Ninja World. Season two of AW Junior, so good eye on that. Was actually in the top 10 of the UNX back yeah, in the day. She was. Made it to the Worlds at UNAA. Three time competitor. Go now on the flying bar. Up and in. Great technique on the flying bar there. The women's competitors can also go on top of the cradles here. A little bit intimidating potentially because it's metal. You don't have that rubber padding of the cradle, but certainly an option for them to hit the top of it. Small gap on top that you can hit. Let's see if she can figure it out on this one. Got the up move last time. Round number two. Great tag there on the move up. Down and in, overshoots. Wow, that's such a tough move. Be accurate with those moves. Final attempt here. Yes. So number four posing a lot of issues for these earlier runners. Great grip there, being able to switch from forward facing to switch grip. 
three for three on the up move. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Staying consistent here. Goes for the entryway. Half in, half on top. Not going to get it. It's a break, Anna. I mean, I thought this move, man. It's not a, it's not a gimme by any, any sense of the word. I thought this attempt was really, really close. She gets through and just misses on her left side, unfortunately. For Victor, Victor Chan. Victor Chan will be ready at the start line. There he comes. All right. Victor Chan, another athlete out of Traverse Fitness. 24 years old, 5'9", 150 pounds. Beated last time on American Ninja Warrior in season 13. Clearing his qualifying course. Like Bad respect shirt. for the t-shirt. I know you were about to say it, but... Oh, <laughs> get nerdy up in here, my friend. You got two major nerds here in the commentating booth that absolutely respect the shirt. That's nice kind of what I loved about ninjas so much, man. It's like you, a lot of different people from all sorts of walks of life. And those those nerds that are <laughs> closet closet fitness athletes. <laughs> Go. A lot of hidden potential in the nerd, nerd culture. Nerd power Victor. right here. Up and in. For the drop now. Overshoots that one side. Nice try. Yeah, nice try. Only one athlete passed this obstacle to this point. I really, I do like the design of it. I think we haven't really seen this done in a competition where you've got the flying bar cradles and something on top to sort of force that precision. Now special deliveries in obstacles where you have to take something with you now. Is, oh, man, just really up in the game. One thing to do it on like a little slot for your hands, but now you have to be mindful. <laughs> Two different sides now. Wolf. You're not making this easy on us at all. Third and final attempt here for our Mr. Victor Chan. And not able to get. Flying bar, another one down. Nice try, Victor. Yeah, just not able to hit the up move on the last attempt, but two solid attempts before that. This is this is a really this is a really tricky obstacle. It was a brutal start. We still got a lot of obstacles after that we haven't seen yet. We've got a lot of athletes yet to go. Jordan Brown. Up and Jordan Brown, no Jordan Brown. All right, maybe we'll get back to him. Okay. Looks like we're moving on. Emerson Muse. Trains here at Traverse. So on the swim team in place, water polo. Don't worry about any water here. Thankfully. I know, it's chilly in the building. <laughs> Don't want that. Trains alongside Brian Crutch and Brittany Durant. Wait, zip line. Let's see, does she have enough? Come on, nice. Scared me a little bit. And hooks, and not sure if that's going to count. Needed to be fully past the plane. Brian again. And in. It's to clear that time. Or that block is there, but there's a line that shows where the plane is for the entirety of the platform. Nice. Deep. Not sure if I were able to save that one. Nice try for a uh, second attempt coming up. Yeah, this is a tricky one. Coming from the trapeze bar. Coming down hard, nice. Good landing here, but the, oh, the sh shimmying of that step. Nice trying to push off of it. Nice to 
her approach on that next block. What, Emerson, you got to stay focused here. Don't panic about the third attempt. Need it back on a w Jr. Season 3. Just pressure. Sticks to the landing. Well, this is going to be interesting. This, these are free spinning, so... Needs to lock that one down as much to one side before trying to push off and not uh, able to figure it out. That's a tough break for MSU. Nice try. Walk run is not forgiving. Been there, Emerson. Yeah. Oh, man. Hard enough when you got to run at it straight. <laughs> now you got to drop down from a trapeze bar. No joke. Nate Harrington Ken is on the course right now. 13 years old. Grew up and lives in Oakland, alongside his dad, mom, and younger brother and his doggo. Been training ninja since he was eight years old, so he's been in the game for a bit. Outside of ninja, though, he's into blacksmithing. Pretty cool hobby. We don't see too many blacksmith ninjas in the, yeah, that's pretty in awesome. the game. Maybe he'll be able to weld us some uh, Molniers or... Cool, some cool new uh, ninja apparatuses. Here he handles the block run. Nice! Oh! oh I, hard face plant on the end block uh, there, but... You know what? I, I didn't hate the attempt coming down hard on that second one and trying to get a nice quick bounce. You can see the block run has a little bit of give. It looked like he did just get himself a little off balance, though. I wonder if he'll go for it again. One, two. Nice job committing. That looks, that looks pretty smooth there on that second attempt. Nate, Nate trying to get ready for this tricky move here in this flying bar combo. That first one, switch grip in hand. Switch grip to the metal bar. Up to that first cradle and overshoots to one side. I do like this obstacle for its precision. I think a lot of times, you know, course designers tend to go for like big moves and let's let's throw a really long lache in here. But I like that they're they're short moves and you got to be really really precise. Yeah, the smaller moves sometimes are more technical and tricky ones to make. Third and final attempt here for Mr. Nate. I think every athlete here today has the strength to, to make these moves, obviously. like, But being able to do it precisely is, is definitely what I like about it. And third and final attempt. Not quite going to get there. Tough break for Nate. We'll see him later down the line. He's still really early on in his ninja career, but that's going to do it for his run here today. Said he's a big fan of that show, Forged on, Forged in Fire. We'll see his blacksmithing skills put to, put to the test there. Came up short on the flying bar here on the qualifying run. Tough break. Up now is going to be Rob Richardson. Fun fact, Strat, about Rod, Rob Richardson. Let's hear Tomorrow it. Tomorrow is Rob's 63rd birthday. What? <laughs> Let's go. In the house, representing Ninja Force out there in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Retired civil engineer. 63, still out here competing with the big dogs. Nice job, Rob. Here I am turning 40 in two months. Complaining about it. Rob's out here <laughs> putting on the work. Up and in. Good landing moving forwards block run Let's see how he does here now let's see he's gonna skip the first one on <sighs> steps back a little bit see that block just shimmied a little bit under his weight I do wonder if you hit the first one and just run through each one tap 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 if it's a little bit better than trying to skip the second one coming down so hard. You have so much body weight coming down so hard on that second one. Let's see. Try number two. Oh, look out. 
Round number three. Yep. I don't know. If you can control your landing on the second block because it doesn't rotate nearly as much as the others, and then steady yourself, that might be a slow and controlled approach. Well, I certainly think that's what's tempting a lot of these athletes is that the second block has a, a pad underneath it, so it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't rotate quite as much. You can see there at the bottom, yellow pad underneath. And those just don't have any give, so that is going to be an early exit for Rob. Unfortunate there, but appreciate the heart. Richardson. Hey, enjoy the birthday. Yeah, Let's man. go. Happy early birthday. Phone right, ninja and on. Up now. <laughs> oh. Not yet. That is the beast Alan Keneally you saw there talking to Mr. Swanson <laughs> briefly. Maybe just with a question, but Clarissa Morris is going to be first. Yep. Clarissa Morris. We saw, yeah, we saw Clarissa back in September at Wolfpack Ninja. She actually won the whole thing. Would certainly love to see her on a speed course here later in the finals today. After dominating Wolfpack, which is a speed event. All right, here we go. Clarissa up and in. Down the zip, uh, zip line we go. Mother of two. Training out of Utah for a while. The grip for a little bit. Good landing there. Let's see how she attacks these spinning blocks. Had a gymnastics background, so might be okay with the balance, but not so much on the first try. Take it back to the start. Over try number two, big sprint ah, off the second block. Need to try to calm it down here. This is a big danger zone for Clarissa. We want to get through this one. First block is in play if she wants to try it, but that's not going to be nearly as steady as that third one or the second block. Let's see what she has to do here for a change of technique potentially. Come on, Clarissa. And not able to figure it out on the way through an unfortunate early exit from Carissa. Yeah, probably going to be a little upset with that. He's got some strong competitive background earlier in the season. Various comps. Block run. Claims another. Yeah, she's going to be frustrated. after We saw her at Obstacle Academy in another early obstacle sort of took her out and we just haven't seen her compete to her ability to this point I, I, th I think we all know we saw it at Wolfpack how strong and capable she is and uh, sometimes you just have those days where you just it's not quite, your day can't quite figure it out on the day yeah. fortunately it's been twice for Clarissa but Andrew Buley our next runner Andrew on the move coming out of Summit Ninja Warrior Blackstaff Arizona Way on to the block run here. Has his own clothing brand. Imperfect apparel. But nothing imperfect about that run across block run. Nice job. Steadies himself for taking his next few steps. Grab a little bit of that bucket of chalk. Jumping on in to the flying bar combo. That looks really good on the first move. Well, that next one had the right idea. Wanted to go quick. Less hang time, the better. Get a lot more tries. Try number two. Oh, wow. You can see the hands on the head. A little frustrated with that attempt. Going to try again. Third and final attempt. That up move. Down into the cradle. Big distance. Not there for the dismount. Tough break. Both, both receivers? All right, sick. 
Just the receivers, right? Most of the academy you spend just in a room working with other people that are also struggling to figure out the same things. And it's, it's actually much faster that way because they figure things out when you don't know them and you help them figure the things out that you figured out. One of the phases of the academy is a shadowing phase where you get to work under a mentor and take all of the practical skills you're learning and apply them directly to a real project. Working in the academy. And on the course right now, right. folks, we've got Nate Business Anderson ready software sprinting his way, way through I could take my experiences and, and looking for that swing couldn't quite get it on his first attempt decides to take it to the start he's gonna try again Nate Anderson coming out of Traverse Fitness as well East Bay local Getting a big old jump off that trampoline gets the underbar through nicely done 13 years old about to be 14 See how he does. One, two, three, four. Nicely done. Consistent run through. Not skipping that first. Committing to those steps might be the way to go. Swinging up here for the first flying bar move. Break there for Nate. Try again here. Try number two. And just a little shy. Overshoots again. Third and final attempt. Difficulty in the course here. Definitely challenging the earlier runners in the day. Quite figured out the right tech here for the ice cream sandwich flying bar. Up and over, not quite going to get there. Nice try, Nate Anderson. Swan, you on Discord? And coming up now is a face we haven't seen in quite some time. It is the Beast Actual, the original owner of that nickname, the Beast. One of my teammates from way back in the day, Season 3, Red Dragons in the house, Mr. Alan Keneally on the start platform. Yucking it up out there with Mr. Swanson. <laughs> Here Alan. we go. Had some great, great videos back in the day of uh, some music parodies. Came to auditioning for the show. Uh, really funny dude here. You don't see, you don't hear him too much. Pretty quiet guy. Keeps to himself a lot, but strong athlete. 42 years old. Still kicking. The Ninja World. Out there at his gym in the. Say, where's Concord, California? I don't, I don't want to misspeak and say North, South. Oh my oh, God, the beast! Oh, the <laughs> big jump. Take like a the attempt. move there. I gotta say, shout out to Keneally for World Ninja League. He ran like their second finals, and that competition was awesome. Trying again. Shout out to him. Not able to get there. He needs one more attempt. Come on, Allen. Thirteen years of experience. Third and final attempt here. To the second and off shoots to the side. Allen, unfortunate to see him go. Tough break for Mr. Keneally. Yeah, here he comes. We got to go back to the big jump here. 
Ah, just so much weight going down. <sighs> I really liked the attempt. Unfortunately, not able to complete it. But we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we will be right back. Our Craftsmanship Academy cohorts of apprentices participate in hands-on immersion that leads to long-term mentorship. All of this under the supervision of experienced software craftsmen. Most of the academy you spend just in a room working with other people that are also struggling to figure out the same things. And it's, it's actually much faster that way because they figure things out when you don't know them and you help them figure the things out that you figured out. One of the phases of the academy is a shadowing phase where you get to work under a mentor and take all of the practical skills you're learning and apply them directly to a real project. Working in the academy taught me to write business ready software in a way that I could take my experiences and translate them to the real world and I could see the results and I could see people using the software and the utility and the value that it provides. If the Craftsmanship Academy sounds like a fit, I'd encourage you to reach out. All right, everybody, welcome back. We are back down to the floor. Olivia Colasano, our next athlete ready to go. Haven't seen her compete since UNX, I think. It's been a little bit. Very excited to see her run. All right, Olivia getting ready to go here. Then we just last minute checks. Chatting over there. Swanson chatting. Old Fretch face. He's got a lot of competitive experience here. Competed back on AW Junior. That's where her ninja career began. From there, went on to do hundreds of more competitions around the country. And way through that zip line, no problem. Young adult world champion back in 2020 for the then NNL, now WNL. Swinging all through for that ring and dismount. Nice job. Well, this is got to be the ninja <laughs> between this and the flying bar but I, I think this is more the ninja killer today check the tech one two oh, I'm not sure about the landing couldn't tell from the angle I think it, might have fell back on the blue it did look like her shoulder touched the blue support structure which you're not allowed to touch you can see it in the middle there Let's see if she can make the adjustment here on attempt number two one two Hard hit on the ribs potentially, but she's okay. Bouncing right back up. And final attempt here for Olivia. Well, he's going for the second one, but not enough control on the landing. Had a lot of power there. Tough break for Olivia. First try in a ninja sport championship. Come up short this time around. Yeah, tried to stop on the second one there. Not quite. I had to see her go early it. on. All right. Next up, Jelani Allen. Coming out of Rockin' the Ninja Nation t shirt. Way through. Sean. There, nicely done. Said he doesn't have a gym to really call home. Never had a ninja coach or anything as well, but trained alongside a few others. Six the landing. Nice job. Self taught here. Those self taught skills to the test. Tough, tough break. Down off that first one. This second attempt here. It's the 
landed on the first one. See how fast those things start spinning on you. Get it back on season nine of American Ninja Warrior. Made it all the way to the national finals that year. Also got the UNAA Pro Finals. First year in a Ninja. Can he figure this one out? Too quick off of the step through. Delaney Allen taken down by the block run. I mean, this is an absolute bloodbath. Ninja killer for sure. Rough start. I don't think it's any question right now. We're at a quarter of the way through the runners. We're in uh, runner number 26 right now. Haven't seen much past obstacle number four. Wow. One athlete so far past flying bars. And I believe we saw two athletes actually catch in the sandwich cradles, but miss the dismount. Chris Lambert up next. Right, Chris Lambert. Now the studio, martial arts and fitness in Roseville, California. Trying to hit a little slow, but makes it through. Nice job. Yeah, it's a good adjustment. He kicked his legs out to get a little bit of that extra momentum. Oh, oh, fell backwards, knew it right away. Go ahead and reset. He goes by the submarine ninja, Navy veteran. And on submarine. Try here, and he's a. Yeah, it's not quite enough on that one. Third and final attempt. I'm shooting at that thing like a torpedo. There it is. Nicely done. Figure out block run here. First step, second step. Not going to get it on that one. That first block spins quite easily. Dial this in. One, two, three. Man, it's just so hard to really recollect yourself after the first misstep on those spinning blocks. It needs to have that forward momentum quickly. What, what, do, that swing. what do you think, Strat? You go to the first block or the second block? Oh, there it is. That first one might be the way to go. That actually looked really good. Chris made that look nice. Definitely picking up pace here. Nose is going to be a little short on time. Just get into the cradle. Oh. Little shot. Come on, breathe when you're out there. Still got a minute to go. Getting through this would be huge. Shea off the first bar to that next. The first just over shoots, and that's a tough spot to go out on. It's early. You know, early exit off of the obstacle, so you get to try again, but you want to be, you don't miss anything. It's going to be that cradle. That's what it feels like. Here we go. Third and final attempt. Chris Lambert. Fortunately, going to get through the climb bar combo. Shoot, the up moves tough. Tough to be accurate on. Up now we got Jalen Bennett. Coming out of Ninja Nation in Lafayette. Shout out Jalen Bennett. Former NSN employee, yep, I guess. Yep. She helped us out a ton at UNAA Finals. She was one of the switchers. So if you were watching the adult and masters division. Jalen was working the stream, so shout out to Jalen. Appreciate all the help for that event. That was a lot of fun back then at the UNA Finals. They're getting ready for their next one coming up in Orlando in just a few months. We're going to take a quick commercial break right before Jalen's run. We'll be back. Ninja Sport Championship is brought to you by Role Model Software. They craft custom software tailored to fit your business needs, and they're also the makers of Ninja Master and Lightning CAD. 
Silent Ninja, check out their website for exclusive ninja holds and ninja training equipment. Salibra Family Restaurants, supporters of the Ronald McDonald House, helping families and children in need consider donating today. Biaggi Bros, a full-service logistics company with 3PL and supply chain solutions with warehouses and truck terminals scattered across the U.S. League of Ninja Warriors, check out their website for exclusive ninja collectibles. Ocean Needs Everyone, the nonprofit organization dedicated to helping save our oceans. And Bucket of Chalk, our official chalk sponsor. Reach into the bucket and grab some chalk today. Have you ever experienced extremely sweaty hands? Not knowing where to step on agility? Being unlucky on special delivery? Or being absolute trash at Double Dipper? Then Bucket of Chalk Chalk is the right chalk for you. Side effects may include extremely grippy hands even after washing them. Always know where to step on agility. Adds a bit of extra luck on special deliveries and it tastes like success. down to the floor and right. on that start line getting ready to go is going to be Jalen Bennett stated before she worked alongside us at the UNA World Finals last summer helping out in one of the uh, camera switchers that the age breakdowns they had and now she's on the move Coming out of Ninja, Ninja Nation in Lafayette Colorado she recently just graduated from an engineering program and I talked to her Last night, she's working an overnight shift, Strat. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so she works, like, some crazy hours, like, 10 o'clock to, like, 6.30 in the morning. So Oh, my. She said it might be a little difficult to wake up this morning at 8.30 oh. for this competition, but nice. let's go! Oh, Jalen. Absolutely strides through the block run, making it look easy. Well, noticed how much commitment she had to each one of those steps, knowing she needed to just stay low and controlled with that crossing and now on to the flying bar combo. Let's see what we got here. First attempt going on up. Oh, now we just need to drop it back down into the cradle or go across to the top. What's it gonna be? Drop it down and in. Nice job, Jalen. Now we're shimmying over a bit. Going for the dismount here. Big pullback. Come on, Jay. Trying to line this up just right. He gets to the gray there and gets the point. Nicely done, Jalen. Yeah, you certainly don't want to mess up that dismount there. Jalen will stumble on the work wall there. She goes for the half pipe, half pipe attack. I'm going to attack this ramp here. Going for the rope. And up and oh, no. through. Not exactly sure. That's oh, she right. cleared. Nope, that oh, that's the landing clap. Yep, oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is the landing clap. Tough I'm to tell sometimes. A lot of different moving pieces here, but now on to... This is a cool one. We saw one of the, uh, one of the testers last night. I believe it was Zoe testing this one out from uh, Traverse, one of the coaches here. This is a huge ring drop to a rope grab. So this is really going to test out that grip. Getting a good swing up. Ooh, she went for a static reach. She's off angled slightly. Kind of dial it back in. And she's looking for a static reach. You can see her reaching out with one. One hand might not be, might not be reachable unless she gets a bigger swing here. Goes for the move and caught pretty low. You want to try to catch chest high. Be ready for that impact. It is a big toss. Went off of that ring swing. Climbing back up. I think she's going to call it on that. That's going to be the time for Jalen, but great work making it halfway through the course. Yeah, that was awesome, Strat. I mean, she made the block run look so easy. Really, really smooth there. Nicely done, Jalen. <laughs> hey, 
Up now, we've got Willie Moose. Really big into rock climbing. Outside of Ninja. And he is on the move. Got about two years of Ninja experience. Making his way across that zip line, no problem. Loves working out and staying healthy. 54 years old. Still rocking and rolling here in the Ninja world. Not sure. I think we are good to go. Moving on. That was a close call, but Swanson with the eyes on the floor. Oh, moving. Really going for a big drop. My goodness. Oh, it almost looked good, but then it's it's just so much weight that comes down. And honestly, we saw Chris a little taller of a competitor. He hit the first block. I mean, made it look pretty good, Strat. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's all about being in control with this approach. Larger drops down. If you got a good control and can commit to it, then maybe. But the bounce that he's hitting causes him to have a lot of height as he steps back down onto that third block. Those be light on those feet, staying streamlined with the blocks. Not going to get it. Nice try, Willie. Talk obstacle tech all day when it comes to these speed and agility slash balance obstacles. Things like domino run, diamond dash. Those you want to have more high stepping, kind of pressure downwards into a certain area. Block run, you want to be a little more streamlined as you go across. Yeah, I'm interested to see how that beta is going to change throughout the day because it absolutely has been the ninja killer. And so will athletes start using the first one? Will they keep going for the second one? I'm not really sure which one I like better just yet. Here we go. Arnold Hernandez on the move. A longtime AW competitor coming out of Movement Lab in San Dimas, California. Competed five different seasons, and I believe he just got his call for season 15. Yesterday, we saw a lot of announcements go out, a lot of exciting stuff. And quickly across block run, Arnold Hernandez showing us some of that veteran experience. Yeah, congrats to Arnold. And if he ends up taking on the block run this season on American Ninja Warrior, he's well prepared now. Got it already in the bag. <laughs> nice work so far. Getting to that flying bar cradle. Up. Lined it up just right. For the down move. Ah, uh, the, the right difference. side got caught on the top. The left side was in. Let's see if he can make the adjustment on try number two. Arnold's a co-owner of the Movement Lab in that area. San Dimas, before that, had his own backyard course called the 323 Ninja Training Grounds. Been in the scene and the ninja community for many years now. Here in the California area, a little short on that second attempt. Side was caught on top again. On oh, no, Arnold, let's lock this in here. Third and final move. the cradles. There it is. Don't rush this right here. Big. Tricky. We go big here. Plenty of landing space. There it is. Now heading on over for the floating monkey bar. Let's go. Only our second athlete to the floating monkey bars. Having that board facing it's technique tough. here, it definitely changes things a lot. You don't you don't have as much swing with those arms the way they're facing. So knowing how to lock them in and figure out which way those hands need to be. Let's see, I'm trying to reposition a little closer. Any missed moves here, you have a high risk of peeling out. Might have time for one more try. The retry system, it's great because they get to get a couple more attempts if they used some of those retries earlier, that really does gas the system. Just taking away from some of that energy required. I'm trying to move through this a little quicker here with time ticking away, and that's going to do it for Arnold. Nice try, nice run. We'll have a few 
seconds remaining. Unofficial time down the bottom right, and that's yeah. that's going to do it for me. No, it's not going to be worth it, but that's a crazy move. A nice try from Arnold. Yeah, hey, you got through the flying that's bar. Arnold. That's been our second biggest ninja killer of the day, so huge congratulations there. Let's see if we can go I'm ahead and Anthony Ferrari Wilson, and I'm the founder of the it. Ocean Conservation Organization. Ocean needs everyone, and Enzo. we are... Sorry. Hi, Enzo. Bye, Enzo. So I, I wanted to show this this block run right here because I thought it was really, really smooth. Come on, nice. So smooth. Up now we got Brittany Durant on the move. Coming out of the Momentum Gym alongside Alan Keneally. Co-owner uh, co up there. Up and Hold on tight. Moving smooth so far. Couple years of ninja experience here. Also a stunt woman out California area. Was on World Chase Tag earlier this year. Oh, let's go. World Chase Tag athlete. You know she's got to be confident on her feet. Nice. Obviously. There it is. That's Two sweet. in a row on the women's side. Jay Bennett and Brittany Durant making that look pretty, pretty smooth. Nicely done. Great time, Ninja Warrior competitor. Good experience when it comes to competing at various levels. Let's see how we do on the flying bar combo here. Good. Drop down. First attempt. Oh my gosh, that's those corners. Get to that gold ring. And one swing through for the dismount. Nicely done on the lineup. Head on over for the half pipe attack. First attempt on the flying bar. That was so impressive. Big jump here on the ropes. Going to need a lot of speed. Making a big leap off the mega wall to the rope and wants nice. to line up the dismount a little bit more and gets it on the second swing. Excellent job. Made it to the national finals on the show. Has uh, been the only woman to hit a qualifying buzzer in her region. One of the times she competed. Getting ready for this giant ring swing. Let's go for it and see if she can make this move. See what she she would be the first woman to clear this obstacle. Trying to get the swing built up big, so she only takes one or two swings here at the start. Get the most momentum that first swing, but she wants to be lined up for it. Oh. On the landing, I think she's all right. Popping right back up. She's going to have 15 seconds or so. I don't know. I don't know if this is... Yeah, I bet you could get this done in about 10, 15 seconds. She's going to have to move, though. And I think she's going to call it on that, actually. News that the time was going to be a little short. Kind of bump, kind of bang her nose a little bit. See her wipe her face. Hopefully she's all right. Yeah, I'm just really excited to look at this. She nailed this on the first attempt. Here it is in slow motion. Checks both sides. It's great nice. Great run there for Brittany. Up next. Be Bryson Smith. Coming out of a backyard course where he trains out of mostly. 14 years old. He said he's focusing on mostly on his backyard course because the gym he was going to just uh, got to be too easy for him. Sets his own challenges up in his backyard. On to some more challenging obstacles here. Let's see how that training pays off. Bryson Smith, he's a little lighter of an athlete, which I think is going to help him here on the block run if he can keep his feet centered. Hits the first one. Ooh, that third one just dumps him off to the side. Now 
Lighter athlete. Don't want to have a lot of speed going into this. So if you're lighter, you want to hit that first one and just get a good run, but you got to stay centered. The thing that I really like is how he's leaving his, his back foot. He's trailing his back foot, so he's hitting the first step with some momentum. The only thing I don't know is if he's tall enough to hit that first one. I think it's throwing him off a little bit. He's a little Third. short of a competitor. Nah, going to get it. a break, Bryson. I do really like the way that he attempted to attack that. You can see, watch his foot. He, he comes in with really good momentum. Yeah, just a little off angle on that first step. You really need to be center. Spinning too much on you. Up now. Man with Drew many Esther. handprints. <laughs> White hand of Solomon is uh, <laughs> well present here for Drew Nestor. On the move. Beat it back in season 14 of American Ninja Warrior. He's got a call for season 15 as well. Yeah, he's nice fun to watch. Deck, Brings man. a lot of passion to the course. Definitely exciting. Yeah, made it to the finals in season 14. Check the tech here. One, two, three, four. A little funky arm tech up top. Makes it through. All right, Strat. I'm keeping tally marks. He hit the first one. I'm, I'm going to keep a tally mark. Who's using the first one? Who's using the second one? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is the beta there? Seen I don't more know. More success off of the first step, I believe, than, the, than we have the second block. We go on the flying bar. Up to the top we go. And we get the cradle. Checks both sides real quick. Little pull up and almost gets the move down. Try again. Present the dangle gang. Pretty much in ninja, you're dangling off of pretty much everything. Forward grip is, is interesting. Confident with the grip, but not quite there with the tech. Got one more chance. <laughs> <laughs> Having some tons of fun out there. Good to stay relaxed. Third final attempt coming up. The up move. Check both, both sides. sides. Ah, I try to go for the forced push move, and that's not going to work out for him. Unfortunate early exit for yet another athlete off Roger. of the line bar combo. Up next, Bailey Beckstrin. Bailey Beckstrin coming out of the grip ninja as well. Bailey's only 13 and a half. Trains alongside her dad and two brothers, Kai and Luke. Beckstrin, of course, run that gym, the grip, out there in Utah. They also ran one of the divisions at the UNA Finals last year. Go Bailey. Trampoline bounce up and in. Just a little shy on the dismount. Gonna have to reset and try again. Really commit to that swing through. Beat it back on seasons one and two of Ninja Warrior Junior. Legs back. Oh, the foot comes down. Just a little shy on the dismount. Needs one more. Come on, Bailey. And wait for that hit. And swing through. Secures it on the third and final attempt. The Beckstrin clan is out in full force today. We'll have Luke, Kai, Bailey. All the kids. Alex Beckstrin, which I think is a cousin. Dump to the side. Lap time. A little flustered after those first two balls. Dial it in here, though. This will be huge if she can clear this. Again, off to the side. That second block will tip a bit. Third and final attempt. It's 
Control, one, two, and there it is. Why don't you steady yourself and trust that back foot? Flirting with disaster a little bit with those blocks being so spinny, but good control. Got about a minute remaining. Drop down. Get this big up move on the first iron bar cradle. Yeah, not going to get on the first attempt. A brutal start to the course here. She's committed, though, not going to give up. Second attempt, not quite there. It's all right. One last attempt. Line bar be a pretty exhausting obstacle of repeat attempts here, and that's going to do it for Bailey Beckstrom. Try. We'll have a look here. Slightly getting that right side up, but left side just trailing behind a bit. This is such a hard obstacle to practice and to train on safely and just committing to it over and over again. I know that's where I struggle when it comes to obstacles like this. Anytime you have to bring something with you, it's just way more intimidating. Yeah, definitely intimidating. I like obstacles that I have my hands on the whole time. Keep it static, man. Oh, yeah, like <laughs> come on now. We've got enough going on. A lot less margin for error there. And up now is going to be Julius Ferguson. I got to give a shout out to Julius Ferguson before he starts. Dude has been so supportive of, of NSC, NSN. He's given us a lot of great tips. He's messaged me on, on our Patreon and messaged us privately. Dude, shout out to him. He's given us so many good ideas. Always supportive in the chat. Absolutely love Julius. Yeah, you don't see him in the chat right now because he's out there doing the dang thing. So Julius on the move. Swinging on through along this far. Keep his rhythm going here. Speaking of rhythm, he's known for being a bit of a rapper, spitting some fire beats. Come on through! Not quite going to get the block run on his first try. Six-time American Ninja Warrior athlete. He's going for one, two, three, four! Oh, I almost like the attempt. He, had, he actually put two feet on the first block there. I thought it was going to be enough momentum to carry him. Oh, man, this would be a big upset. Julius can't figure this out. Let's go, brother. Third and final attempt. One, two, goes for the rollout. Tucks his head to be safe and not going to get the cross block run. Early exit. It's been the absolute Julius. ninja killer of the day, Strat. I mean... What do, you, what do you say about it? It has been absolutely brutal. It's tough, man. He tried to roll with it, hopefully roll into the finish, but that good awareness from him to be able to protect his protect himself is not easy to block run. Just being unforgiving. All right, looks like we got Hiss and Yo Wang on the course right now. 24 years old, coming out of Diablo Valley College in Pleasantville Hill, or Pleasant Hill, California. Dude, check, check the shirt. I love the shirt. The Ninja Warrior shirt right now. Good. I can't quite get a good read on it, but that's all right. Man. Beat it back on season 14. See if our camera guy at Whoop. some point can get a great look at that shirt. Good spot there might be coming up here on start platform. Boom. Oh, That's great, dude. that might be the uh, Team Taiwan uh, shirt design. Oh, Where cool. They've got all the letters into obstacles. One, two, three. Great. Let's go. Part. Oh, yeah, dual, uh, dual citizenship, born and raised in Taiwan. I got his citizenship here in, uh, just last April. That's great. Does it say in his bio, did he compete 
in yep. Taiwan? Oh, oh, that's a good question. I know they've done a couple over there. Uh, we'll have to chat with them afterwards. Get it back in season seven on WNL. Just missing the cradle there. All right, he's going to take a reset here. Outside of Ninja, he's a big baseball fan. He's trying to visit all the Major League Baseball stadiums. Catching some live games. See if he can drive it home here on the flying bar. Not so much. One final attempt. Ganji, I know you're more of a football guy. Any baseball teams you're following? Uh, just never really was introduced to baseball, honestly. Never, never a sport I follow too much. Here we are. Three-two pitch, and a strikeout there. Unfortunately, Kristen Yo. Nice try. Line bar claims another. Coming up now, runner number 37. It's going to be Jack Montgomery. This is our final runner of the wave. Final runner of the wave. Going to be Jack Montgomery. 17 years old. One second, folks. Jack Montgomery trains out of, uh, let's see, 605 Ninja. He's a coach there, personal trainer as well. Got about five years of experience. Currently going to college. Actually... Stand by, folks. Might have a little uh, technical. See what the word is on the floor here. Stand by, Mr. Montgomery. Getting put on hold for just a little bit. Just kidding, the Dangle Gang's going to be taking a step off to the side for a second. Jason Grossman on the platform. Ready to go. Jason Grossman coming out of the movement lab in San Dimas. Works in the operating room. Trains alongside Arnold Hernandez, big in rock climbing. Get it back on season 13. Let's see how he does out here. Season two in sport championship. Got a smile on his face. Calm under pressure, you gotta be if you're working in an operating room. I wouldn't be able to handle this. Oh man, nope, nope, nope. Anybody in the medical field, I don't know how. Y'all can stay calm in those scenarios, so hats off to you. <laughs> Oh, it's great balance there on the block run. 33 seconds. He's got time. Take a rest for a second and jump right in. Oh, no. Oh, whipped on a hand hold there. Almost gets it. The switch grip grab can be a little tricky. Yeah, he, he went to catch the switch grip. But it looked like it, he didn't get all his fingers in the right spot. Yeah, went with forward-facing grip that time to be a little bit more secure up and in quite, not quite there. Get some encouragement from the crowd. I believe that's Anthony yell at him from across the way. Oh, a lot of power out of that third and final attempt, but not quite there. Jason Grossman, tough break. Oh, 
And now we're back on to the course with Jack Montgomery. 17 years old out of Del Rapids, South Dakota. About five years of ninja experience. Trains out of the 605 Ninja. Looking to go to college later on. Right now he's looking to get hopefully into the finals later Final today. Runner to close down the wave. Athletes definitely looking for somebody to clear this course, and hopefully Jack is the one to do it. Jack with the attack. Come on, dudes, got your balance. Angle Gang earlier didn't have had some success here, but not much. And let's see how we do on the blocks. Take it off, Gums. Come on, Gums. We're in the mood. D4, D4. Forward. He needs to have momentum going forward. One, two, three, four. Nice job, Jack. With this flying bar cradle. Transitions down to the bar. Up and in. First one, Dangle Gang popping off in the background. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, one side in, other side on top. Special delivery. Line bar, air mail. Up. Dropping back down, potentially off angle once again. Mirror, what we just saw. Tried to adjust one side, over adjusted on the other. Get it dialed in. Third and final attempt. Consistent on the up. And not quite able to get there. Nice try, Jack. And that's going to do it for Wave 1 Sport Championships here at Traverse Fitness. I think we'll take a commercial break. A little bit of a breather, and we'll be back in just a bit, folks. Quick look at here, thou. Just how tough it is. You need to be accurate, but then be ready for those drops. Not a good, whew, not, a, not, a, not a good way to start the day. We've, we've had some, some rough runs here. This halfway point on the course has been the stopping point for many. Wave two, we're going to have some more athletes give this course a run. Let's see if we get some folks later on into the course so we can see the rest of the things that have been designed been a tough one but let's take a quick look at our leaderboard on the men's side you can see Francisco Barajas in first place Arnold Hernandez in second place Talon Yorn our top three and I believe Talon our first runner of the day sitting in third place wow. that is absolutely yeah. awesome really good really good there so there is a look at your men's leaderboard so far let's go ahead and pull up the women and see where they stand There you have it for the women's side. And that is going to do it for Wave 1. We're going to go to our sponsors, and we're going to shut down the stream. Make sure you come back, tune in for Wave 2. We will be back where we're going to get our top 10 men, top 10 women who will compete later today in the finals. And uh, it's been an absolute bloodbath so far. Block run. Unbelievable. The ninja killer of, of Wave 1 so My far. Goodness. With a close second to the flying bar, we'll see how these athletes do in wave two and have some success. I got faith, Mr. DeGangi. I got some faith. We'll see some exciting runs coming up later today. Y'all come on back, grab you a snack and some drinks. We'll be here. Some more action here on the Ninja Sport Network. Ninja Sport Championship is brought to you by Role Model Software. They craft custom software tailored to fit your business needs, and they're also the makers of Ninja Master and Lightning CAD. Silent Ninja, check out their website for exclusive ninja holds and ninja training equipment. Salibra Family Restaurants, supporters of the Ronald McDonald House, helping families and children in need consider donating today. Biaggi Bros, a full service logistics company with 3PL and supply chain solutions with warehouses and truck terminals scattered across the US. League of Ninja Warriors, check out their website for exclusive ninja collectibles. 
Ocean Needs Everyone, the nonprofit organization dedicated to helping save our oceans. And Bucket of Chalk, our official chalk sponsor. Reach into the bucket and grab some chalk today. Have you ever experienced extremely sweaty hands? Not knowing where to step on agility? Being unlucky on special delivery? Or being absolute trash at Double Dipper? Then Bucket of Chalk Chalk is the right chalk for you. Side effects may include extremely grippy hands even after washing them. Always know where to step on agility. Adds a bit of extra luck on special deliveries and it tastes like success. Hi, my name is Enzo Di Ferrari Wilson, and I am the founder of the ocean conservation organization Ocean Needs Everyone, and we are proud to be a sponsor for Ninja Sport Championship Season 2. I'm here to tell you today about three reasons why you should help the ocean. One, there's so much left to discover in the ocean, 91% of marine species are still undiscovered. Two, if we don't help soon, there's a projection that by 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. Three, without the ocean, we wouldn't even be here right now because it gives us 65% of our oxygen. So even if you don't live near an ocean, go out and pick up some trash because it will make a difference. And one final bonus reason why you should save the ocean is because it's nice and refreshing. Here at Role Model Software, we value our partnerships with our clients. Listen as Dr. Eric Freeman talks about our partnership with Cultivate Leadership Institute. CLI was trying to find which software company we want to partner with. We talked with a number of different ones, but the thing that made Role Model stand out was the connection that we had with them. So if you're trying to figure out how do I select the right company for us, you need to make sure that you don't just do that digitally. It's not just an email. It's not just a Zoom call. You need to make sure that you get face-to-face -to -face with these individuals to make sure that your mission and your vision align so that you're creating the product that you want to create. And Role Model has the ability to do that. They are very personal. They care about your product. They care about you personally. And they want to help deliver the product that you need. If you're curious if Role Model could be the right fit to partner with you, reach out to us today. We'd love to talk to you. Ninjas, it's time to take your training to the next level. You need a ninja course in your backyard, and FitBuild offers a range of beginner to elite level courses. All builds are completely customizable and designed to fit your ninja needs. Build slots for 2023 are filling up fast, so contact FitBuild now to secure your spot. Check them out online at fitbuild.co or on Instagram at fitbuildco. At Roll One, we believe software development should be learned like any other craft. In our Craftsmanship Academy, cohorts of apprentices participate in hands-on immersion that leads to long-term mentorship. All of this under the supervision of experienced software craftsmen. Most of the academy you spend just in a room working with other people that are also struggling to figure out the same things. And it's, it's actually much faster that way because they figure things out when you don't know them and you help them figure the things out that you figured out. One of the phases of the academy is shadowing phase where you get to work under a mentor and take all of the practical skills you're learning and apply them directly to a real project. Working in the academy taught me to write business ready software in a way that I could take my experiences and translate them to the real world and I could see the results and I could see people using the software and the utility and the value that it provides. If the Craftsmanship Academy sounds like a fit, I'd encourage you to reach out.
One of our long-term partners, SAFA, designs and manufactures fall safety protection systems. Over the years, they keep investing in their software because of the incredible return on their investment. Like seeing their quote times going from four hours to just about 30 minutes. That's an 80% time savings. The design software that Role Model created for SAFA automates their design process to produce instant estimates, 3D visualization, parts list breakdowns, and more. Once finalized, their system automatically sends the design to the manufacturing team, reducing production lead times by three to four days. Are you curious to see what a custom software solution could do for your business? Schedule a free consultation today and we'd love to talk to you.